Joining us, I'm Nadia Crow. And I'm Brian Carlson. We first told you three weeks ago that federal prosecutors would not pursue criminal charges against Utah's Attorney General. Well, today, the AG's office is now confirming that. ABC for Utah's Glenn Mills joins us now with what this means for the other investigations into John Swallow. Glenn? The Department of Justice ruled there is no credible evidence to press charges against Swallow or his predecessor, Mark Shirtliff. However, four other investigations still remain. Swallow says he respects the process, but the others should take note of the precedents set by the feds. Amid allegations of bribery and extortion... Politics is a brutal sport. It's unfortunate that it's become that way. Utah Attorney General John Swallow called for a federal investigation. Nine months later... This is just one step, but this is a big step, and it's a, it's a, it's a great day. The Department of Justice is closing the case. No charges will be filed. I said all along I was innocent of these baseless allegations. Swallow says the decision sets a clear standard. The federal investigation was very fair and very thorough. They're the preeminent investigative force in the world. And they came out and said, we're closing our file. But others aren't closing the file just yet. State, legislative, and bar investigations are still moving forward. Davis County District Attorney Troy Rawlings tells ABC4 Utah the Department of Justice is done with whatever process they did or did not go through. We are not. The state investigation, with the assistance of the FBI, continues. And Representative James Dunnigan, the chairman of the Special Legislative Committee looking into the allegations, says their investigation was different from the federal one all along. This just one day after announcing their investigation is moving full speed ahead. To determine the public trust, and we're also looking to see if there's any statutory changes that need to be made in our current law regarding campaign financing and reform. Swallow says he will cooperate with any other investigations, but says given the new developments, those behind them should reconsider. Ask themselves just what is the benefit that we might gain compared to the cost to the people of Utah. Swallow admits the investigations have been a distraction to the work here at his office. He says he's putting this behind him and moving forward. At the State Capitol, Glenn Mills, ABC4 Utah.